Hey, it's Mel here from Dating with Kismet, and this week we're talking about something I'm really passionate about, and that is body language. It's um, something that women are naturally better at than men, and I don't mean to be derogatory by that statement. Um, we are just born with a natural aptitude to read um, situations, body language, facial expressions in a way that men ha aren't. Um, and I want to give you a couple of tips. These are two amazing books. Um, I think it might show backwards on the video, but uh, Super Flirt by Tracy Cox and Body Language by um, Body Language in the Workplace by Alan and Barbara Pease. They're great books that um, will go into a lot of detail that I think a lot of you might be looking for. So body language, how do you know if they're really interested in you? It's, it's more than just reading a facial expression or them telling you they're interested or the way they're sitting. It's everything put together. So all I want to say in this quick video is if you feel you can't understand whether somebody's interested in you, then you need to do some research. You need to understand the psychology around um, the way people and humans interact. It is not something that I can deliver in a couple of um, minutes video. It's something that's learnt. I've spent years studying it. In fact, it would probably be a whole online course in itself. There's a thought maybe. Um, do some research, start studying these, these topics of how to flirt, how to read body language. It all comes together in, in the combination of how you're communicating. Um, and I have a really simple rule that I teach all my clients. If it's hard work, then it's not right. If the chemistry isn't sparking, it's not right. If you can't read between the lines, something's wrong. So don't try and push or paddle upstream. If it's not working easily, something's not right. You're just not compatible. And there's so many ways that we make excuses to try and understand whether they're interested in you or not. So stop worrying about um, the nuances of body language and what they're saying in text. Whilst that's important, for me, if you're pushing uphill, then something's wrong and sometimes we will never find out why. So that's what I've got to say really short and sweet today. And uh, we'll see you next week when we start talking about the fear of rejection, which is a really big, passionate topic of mine. So have a great week and we'll see you then. Bye.